Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 4, form 1 to the 2, we were dealing with the mixed concept of solid-solid mixtures. So today, lesson 5, we want to proceed to the liquid-liquid mixtures. And we are saying there are two types of liquid-liquid mixtures, namely a immiscible liquid-liquid mixtures. And we are saying this is a type of liquid-liquid mixture in which the two liquids do not mix but form distinct layers or in other words they are going to form heterogeneous mixture examples of immiscible liquid liquid mixtures include vegetable oil and water kerosene and water we can talk about even paraffin and also water so but b we are going to see the other type of liquid liquid mixture it is miscible liquid liquid mixtures and we are saying this is a type of liquid liquid mixture in which the two liquids mix to form a homogeneous solution or they mix to form a uniform layer. Examples of miscible liquid liquid mixtures include water and ethanol, water and also milk. So in this lesson we want to see separation of immiscible liquid liquid mixtures. So we are saying the methods of separating immiscible liquid liquid mixtures include the following. We can use the use of a separating funnel, we can use decantation method and also we can use a dropper or the use of a dropper or teeth by bit. So let's go to the first method of separating immiscible liquid liquid mixture. That's the use of a separating funnel. And we are saying separating funnel is used to separate a mixture containing two or more immiscible liquids. Such liquids do not mix, instead they form layers or distinct layers with the most dense one at the bottom and the least dense one at the top. The liquids are drained off one by one by opening and closing the tap of the separating funnel. Description on how a mixture of paraffin and water are separated by the use of a separating funnel. So this is a diagram for the separating funnel. This is the separating funnel. So we're saying remove the stopper. This is the stopper. Add the mixture of paraffin and water into the separating funnel. Water forms the bottom layer because water is denser and paraffin forms the top layer because paraffin is the one that's less denser. We are told open the tap, we open the tap of the separating funnel and draw out the bottom layer, that's the water. Then we are told discard the interface layer. The interface layer, it is where a paraffin and also water gets contact. The contact, that side is the interface and we are told the interface, it is very hard for two liquids. To be separated at the interface so the told paraffin remains in the in the in the funnel so after we discuss the interface what remains in the separating funnel will be the paraffin or the paraffin oil so we are going to see what makes it possible to separate substance by the use of a separating funnel there are two factors one the differences in density of the solutions and number two immiscibility of the two liquids that means the two liquids must not mix. We are going to go and see application of the use of a separating funnel. And when we are saying extraction of usable, useful substances from complex mixtures. So next we are going to see the second method of separating uh, immiscible liquid liquids or liquid liquid mixtures. That's decantation method. We are saying decantation method can also be used to separate immiscible liquids, but it is not efficient because in the process of decanting, some water passes with the paraffin in the process of decanting. So, number three, or the third method of separating immiscible liquids is the use of a dropper or teeth by bit. And we are saying a dropper can also be used to separate immiscible liquids by sucking the upper, the upper layer. The dropper is used to suck, to suck one layer transferring into another big repeatedly this method too is not accurate and this is the illustration on how to separate immiscible liquids by the use of a dropper or teeth by bit. So that is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching.